Good day everyone. We will configure resource group, virtual network and subnet for Azure virtual machines in this video. Let's get started. I'll first be uh, creating the required resource group. So uh, you can either uh, search for resource group in the uh, search bar. So we have it here. So let's click on that. Then uh, click on create here. So what we'll do is like we will uh, name the um, uh, uh, resource group as uh, JBS Wiki East US. We'll make sure like there are no space and then uh, let's uh, the region is East US. So let's uh, click on tags. I'm not going to have any tags. So let's click on review and create and then let's click on create. Yeah. OK, so the resource group is created, so I will create one more uh, resource group uh, which will be hosting all the resources uh, related to um, uh, Korea Central region. So I will uh, name this resource group as JBS Wiki underscore Korea Central and then I will select the region as uh, Korea Central. So here it is. So let's uh, click on next. I'm not going to give any uh, tags here. So let's click on review plus create. Uh, validation has passed, so let's click on create. Okay, so the, uh, the two resource groups are created. If you can look at it, yeah, it is so the first one is JBS Wiki underscore East US, and second one is JBS Wiki underscore uh, Korea Central. So, what we'll do now is like we will create the required resources as uh, we discussed earlier. Let's uh, create the virtual networks now. So, let's search for uh, virtual networks here. So we have it here. Just click on the virtual networks and then uh, click on create. So we'll first create uh, the virtual network for uh, East US. So here, as far as the resource group is concerned, let's select JBS Wiki East US. We will uh, name this uh, virtual network as uh, JBS Wiki underscore VNet underscore East US. The region would be um, East US. So let's uh, uh, click on next IP address. And what we'll do is like we will um, um, uh, select an uh, required um, IP range here. So I'm going to uh, use uh, 172.20.0.0 slash 16. I'm going to remove this one. I don't need that. So uh, I have uh, this one selected as far as the IPv4 address uh, space is concerned. So what I'll do now is like I will click on uh, add subnet here. And what I'll do is like I will uh, name this uh, subnet as uh, JBS Wiki underscore DB underscore subnet underscore East US. And then I will um, uh, select a um, uh, subnet range uh, as 172.20.1.0 slash uh, uh, 26 and everything else would be like default and then I will uh, click on add here. Yeah. So it is uh, added now. So uh, just to uh, check it again, the IP address for the virtual network is 172.20.0.0 slash 16 and then uh, the subnet would be like JBS wiki underscore DB underscore subnet underscore East US and this is the subnet range. It is very very much required that we clearly uh, uh, plan the uh, IP address range and also the subnet range and make sure like it is uh, as per our requirement because once the virtual machines are deployed uh, changing that is going to be a very big problem which requires you to uh, remove the resources and then recreate so let's uh, click on next security here I will leave everything as default here. Uh, I'm not going to have any tags. I'm just going to click on review create and then I'm uh, going to create uh, my first virtual network in East US region. Deployment is in progress. It's going to take like another 30 seconds or uh, something to complete. So let's wait for it. It is completed now. So what we'll do is like uh, we will go to the resource the deployment is still in progress. Let's refresh it. Yep, the deployment is complete. Let's go to the resource and uh, we are able to uh, see this JPS wiki underscore VNet underscore East US virtual network. So location is East US. So also let's look at the subnet once to make sure everything is okay. 
so we have the required subnet whatever we have created so what we'll do now is like we will create uh, another um, uh, virtual network and we will place that in uh, korea central region so let's click on the virtual networks again and then what we'll do is like we will click on create and then now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to create this particular virtual network let's select the uh, korea central um, uh, resource group which is jbs wiki underscore korea central and uh, the name of this virtual network would be jbs wiki underscore vnet underscore korea central so let's uh, click on um, next ip address and uh, for this particular virtual network, I'm going to have uh, this particular um, uh, IPv4 address space, which is 192.168.0.0 slash 16. I will remove this 10.0 uh, address space, which I don't need. So what I'll do is like now I will uh, create the subnets required for uh, this particular uh, virtual network. Let's uh, click on add subnet here. Let's name the subnet as jbswiki underscore db underscore subnet korea central and uh, the subnet uh, uh, address range would be 192.168.1.0 slash 26 so let's click on add so if you look at it here we have like uh, close to 59 plus 5 azure reserve addresses so 5 azure reserve address is not for us but we have 59 uh, ip address that we can use so let's click on add here and then the subnet is uh, added properly. Let's click on uh, next security. I will leave everything as default here. I will click on review create and then create this particular uh, virtual network. So it is um, getting uh, deployed. It's gonna take another 30 seconds. Okay, the deployment is in progress. Okay, so the deployment is completed for the Korea Central Virtual Network. Let's go to that one and then let's see. Uh, we have this VNet created in Korea Central region. Let's go to the subnet and uh, we have this particular subnet created, which is jbswiki underscore db underscore subnet underscore Korea Central. And this is the uh, address range. So now what we will do is like we will uh, peer these two virtual networks and then we will uh, move on. So let's go to um, the JBS Wiki VNet East US virtual network. And then what we'll do is like we will go to uh, uh, the peering tab under settings. Now what I'll do is like I will click on add here. Yeah? And uh, we need to give a, a name here. So what I'll do is like uh, I will uh, name this particular um, 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 link name, peering link name as jbswiki underscore vnet underscore east us underscore korea central underscore peering. And then uh, traffic to uh, remote virtual network would be allow. Uh, traffic forwarded from uh, remote virtual network will again be allow and uh, virtual network uh, gateway I will uh, select uh, none and what I'll do is like as far as the uh, remote virtual network is concerned what I'll do is like I will uh, um, uh, give the name here as uh, let's copy this one and then let's give it as uh, um, JBS wiki underscore VNet underscore uh, East US underscore Korea Central underscore PR. Virtual network deployment model would be uh, resource manager. I will leave this um, um, checkbox uh, unchecked and you need to select the appropriate subscription. In my case, this is the one. And then what I'll do is like I will select the virtual network here, which would be my uh, JBS wiki underscore VNet underscore East US. So if we see here, it basically tells like uh, select a different virtual network. A virtual network cannot be peered with itself. This is because um, uh, we are creating a peer in this particular virtual network. So we cannot peer the same virtual network. So you basically have to select its partner uh, VNet, which is your uh, JBS wiki underscore VNet underscore Korea Central. So as far as the traffic to uh, remote virtual network is concerned, we will um, allow uh, the, we will go with the default value. 
and uh, the next one traffic forwarded from remote virtual network we will again go with um, the default value of allow and as far as uh, virtual network gateway or route server is concerned we will go with uh, the default one none now let's click on add here so it's um, validating it so right now what i'm able to see is like it is um, uh, created uh, fine so right now i'm seeing the peering status as updating so it's gonna take some time and uh, we will basically have to see the peering status as connected if the configuration that we have done is uh, fine in case if there is a problem we will know that Okay, now we are able to see that the peering status is connected. So let's refresh it one more time. It is connected. So what we'll do is like we will go to the um, uh, Korea Central uh, uh, virtual network and then we will check the peering status uh, under uh, settings in peering tab. And we are able to see that the peering status is connected. So we have successfully uh, peered virtual network that is present in um, uh, East US to the virtual network that is present in Korea Central. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.